Okay, boys and girls. So what we have here is the um, Holtzformer G660 supplied by TriStar Supply LLC. Check them out. And we've also got some cool goodies here from Exile Saw Performance. Check it. All right. You can find their website at rdpowersaw.com uh, or better yet, just go to uh, TriStar Supply and they carry these products. Um, whoo, did you hear that? That was my barrel. I got a barrel outside. And it's... Um, the weather, it got warmed up and so the expansion, boom. Anyways, so this right here is their muffler cover. Um, it's a really easy bolt on. These things are extremely popular because everybody can do them, all right? Everybody can get in there and, and do this stuff. The way the steel mufflers are, are set up, they're very easy to get in there and mess with. There's no welding involved or anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and put this uh, muffler cover on and we also have <coughs> dogs. These are really nice. The, the ones that come with these Chinese saws are really flimsy and they get bent often. Well, this right here is a really nice setup from Exile. And they're high carbon uh, steel. Uh, just really, really nice. I believe they're high carbon anyways. That's what it looks like to me. So we're gonna put these on here as well. First off though, let's get started. Let's get that muffler off. Probably gonna be a little bit hot. Ooh, my bolts already almost came out. Ooh. How? Hot, too hot in hot tub. We're gonna set that up here. Let that cool for a minute while we attack these dogs. That looks so much better than those cheap, cheap ones that come with the salt. That looks nice. All right. Now let's get on this exhaust. How am I gonna cut that out of there? Okay, when in doubt, rotary tool it out. We're gone. All right. All right, bada bing, bada boom. Let's put this thing in the wood. Looks sweet, doesn't it? I like that. I do. Okay, so here we are again. Um, the stuff looks stellar, especially the dogs, I think. They look great. I like the muffler mod as well. Uh, and like I said, the. The greatest thing about those muffler mods with these steels, about anybody can do it. So uh, the only thing that's hard is cutting that big shield out from inside the muffler, but you can figure it out. Get your rotary tool, just go at it. You just gotta just grind it out and everything. So let's see how she runs now.
So yeah, I definitely got to go back in there and raise those transfers because it was cutting uh, at about 10, 5, 10, 8, uh, which is good. I'm way better than it was stock, you know, but it ain't good enough. So I got to go back in there and I got to do more tricks and things to it. Uh, the Exile stuff, I really like it. It, I, it seems really good, qual high quality to me. Um, the muffler mod is great. All of these things are, you know, the steel setup with their mufflers is actually quite nice. You know, the way that you can just get in there and easily modify it, whereas all the other stuff, all of it, I don't care what it is, you got to be able to weld. Um, with the steel setups, you don't have to be able to weld. About anybody can get in there and do it without any problem. So, um, very happy with the Exile stuff. Just a straight bolt on, about anybody can do it. We're golden. The, um, the dogs, the dogs look great. They're a little bit smaller. I think they are, maybe they're not. It, 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 it's kind of deceiving. I think they're a little bit smaller than the ones that came on this stock. But for me, I like that. Um, I'm not on the West Coast cutting redwood with bark that thick. Um, I'm on the East Coast. So this makes much more sense. Those great big dogs um, that they use out there on the West Coast and in, in the big pines and stuff like that, they're useless to me. All they do is get in the way. They take up bar space and uh, uh, as well as they give you a little bit too much leverage. So anyways, I like them a lot. So let me give you some video footage of it. Yeah, those dogs are sweet. I dig them. I dig the muffler mod. You can see, I don't know if you can see on camera or not, but it's got the screen built in, so it's it's a uh, it's got its own spark arrester, you know, the the double double barrel exhaust outlet gives you tons of flow, but you're still coming out hitting a wall, and so you got back pressure. I like it; it's a good setup, you know, and the saw's running great. It really is, but. Uh, I do have to get back in there. That's the whole name of the game whenever you're figuring, uh, figuring out a saw and what to do, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, give it some more power. Um, I'm wanting that thing to have higher RPMs and I definitely think that it's being held back by probably two things. Number one, those uh, upper transfers, I need to raise them, all right? Number two, uh, the uh, ignition timing. So we'll, we'll hit those, and uh, the next time you see this thing running, it'll be with all the little tricks that I do to it to make it faster and stronger. But I'm interested. I still, at this point, haven't seen any footage, any video footage of how good it's running in comparison to what it was like in stock trim. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go edit some videos, and we'll get to it. Later.